Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. Incendio. Excellent fall. Accio. Incendio. Nicely done. Incendio. Levioso. Keep trying. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. 
Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. The best duelist won, I suppose. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knockgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? I think, madam, did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! 
done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Oh. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honour. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Revelio. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Revelio. Reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end up. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Ah, 
It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Oh, I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. 
Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet. Lumos. Things. It's just over there by my tent. Revelio. Lumos. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. Lumos. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I Lumos. need, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. assistance hello can i help you oh thank goodness yes my name is grace pinch smedley of the bath pinch smedleys 
I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. 
I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Rebellion. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While well, I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now, but they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. Revelio. Lumos. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Too many. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track.
Revelio. Lumos. An encampment. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Lumos. What do you have in store for me? How many of you are there? This is where you will fail. Was that your best? I won't dead. By about what is the Quite something. Now, to free Arn's carts. Lumos. Lumos. Akio. Revelio. Rebellion. Levioso. Levioso. Ah, 
here. Levioso. Revelio. Revelio. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Accio. If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> You know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. the best to you. What's my car? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind 
and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life today. Leviosa! Expelliarmus! Accio! Rebellion. Oh, my exams. I don't write Didn't down. Maybe Aura's or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would be mad. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this Lumos. year after the rumors... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. 
I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Lumos. Remember, Revelio. stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the fourth feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the didney or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again! Oh! Now! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Revelio. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as- I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was sceptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Revelio.
imagine how I felt as a boy in the mind industry. I was in the bleach and to put in the world. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlery. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Revelio. 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 The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls.
Don't mind me, Owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Akio! No statues here. I'll take that, thank you. I'd best keep looking. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Akio! Nothing. Here's a welcome surprise. Revelio. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Akio. No statues here. I'd best keep looking. This'll do nicely. <laughs> Nothing. No statues here. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes, why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons, but as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? 
I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Revelio. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. The treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. Lumos. Hogwarts will not serve you well. Now, where did I set my traps? Is it lower or upper Hogsfield? Come up, your little son of St. Treadwell. Afraid to take a hit, eh? Tiger, Confringa! Rebellion. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. 
or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Lumos. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Levioso. Tremuros. Lumos. Revelio. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> 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 No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I wonder how big this place is. Revelio. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. I wonder if any of my spells will help.
Levioso. Rebellion. be able to float straight to me. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Lumos. Another puzzle. Well, if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Revelio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Rebellion.
Revelio. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Revelio! Oh. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Incendio! Accio! Send you. Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I may as well help myself to this. Revelio. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendio! Levioso! I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Revelio. Revelio. Here. 
Revelio. Revelio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. <clears throat> but I may as well help myself to this. An untouched chest. Tarador wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Revelio. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the head of Richard on. Stupid. Let me Insane. Spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Rebellion. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I need to look around for the symbol. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room?
Incendio. Let me answer. Revelio. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Revelio.
Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> That wasn't too bad. Oh, well done! Have a moment? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? 
Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. He's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. 
Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Not a day goes by. Rebellion. Still taking down that troll in the village circle. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but... I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't 
forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Huh. There they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Protego! Stupefy! Leviosa! Expelliarmus! Revelio. Miss Willardsy will never believe where the butterflies led me. Revelio. Well, well. Look what we have here. Expelliarmus! Incendio! Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Let's see what's up his sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Incendio. Repair. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. 
Lumos. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook. What are you up to now? Revelio. That Pippin should have been here by now. You opportunity to pursue anything. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. 
You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Cozy than Hogsmeade. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. More like he does. Revelio. loves me. I'm his best friend. Accio. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. 
Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Revelio. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on the... Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moon. Lumos. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness, my old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look. Rebellious. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear. Lumos. Can't you keep it down? Some of us. Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Uh. Accio. Lumos. Lumos. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop that! Lumos. Revelio. That's not helpful. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. <coughs> How 
How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Lumos. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you Rebellion. should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Lumos. <laughs> Revelio Lumos Accio Lumos. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. Revelio. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. 
I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. 
Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke. Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. 
Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spellcasting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Mm, sounds perfect. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Lumos. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio. We used to play gobstones here all the time. Lumos. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confided. Revelio. Me. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Lumos. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. 
No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, 
A bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe you have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Hello there. In the market for potion? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lowing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Excellent. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here.
determined to master your spell casting. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. When someone says something nice. Oh, Black hadn't cancelled it. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose.
good. I've got this. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flights, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn to finish the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. It's me, here I come. Rebellion. Ah. 
I was standing behind a pill. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. You're a force to be reckoned Lumos. with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Should be hearing back soon about the position that opened up at the Ministry. Rebellio. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Hope you're not here for a knot grass thing. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Oh! 
Can bring up. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio! Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> 